Hello friends, this video on matter and surroundings part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's see some of the solids in our day to day life. For example, if you see the scale, eraser, chalk, pen, pencil, even the ball, cricket ball, or the scan, cold drink can, or the pot, or even vegetables, stone, battery, books, pins, even if you talk about salt, rubber, sponge, ice, you see something common. These all have definite shape. They have big, distinct boundaries. And they have fixed point at a given temperature. Because this ice at 0 degrees Celsius is ice actually, but if you heat it in the room temperature, it becomes what? So at a given temperature, you talk about any temperature, at one fixed temperature, these have different definite shape. Rubber will have same shape, right? At a given temperature, it won't change. Any of these. They'll have distinct boundaries. You can see the boundaries of these. And will have fixed volume. So fixed shape and fixed volume. These are solids. All the particles that have definite shape, distinct boundaries and fixed volumes, they are solid. Okay, all these articles all articles with these properties at a given temperature is solid. Let's see, can you compress them? If you try to compress a scale, can you? No. It is a can you compress? Little bit, no, but not that. Even if you, uh, in case of rubber, even if you squeeze it a little bit, when you remove the external force, it will again go back to its own shape. Chalk, can you compress it? You can break it, but you cannot compress. Break is okay, but you cannot compress it. Pen, you can actually break it, but you can't compress it. Same thing, pencil. All these things you see, right? You can actually break it, but you cannot compress it. Even, for example, this rubber, if you, you can stretch it, but it will regain its original say, original shape, you can say, yeah, when you release the external force. Okay? So, these solids, you can actually break them, but it's very difficult to change their shape because they are rigid. They are rigid. Okay. We talk about sugar. When you say a sugar or salt, you put in this uh, box and if you put in the tray, you feel that the shape of the sugar has changed. But that is not the case. When you talk about the individual sugar molecule, not molecule, in the individual sugar crystals, sugar crystals, the individual sugar crystal shape will not change. And as I told, one sugar crystal will actually be nothing but one million or more than one million particles. Think from that level. One sugar crystal made of so many particles. And one sugar crystal is a solid because you can't change the shape of a sugar crystal just by pressing it. Sponge also if you see, it has a lot of minor holes in this. And in this the air is trapped. So when you squeeze it, the air comes out and it is compressed. But when you release the pressure, the game regains back its own shape. All these are solid. They have definite shape, definite volume. Some example where the shape changes on applying external pressure, but the shape is again retained back when you remove the pressure. Okay. The next state is the liquid state, as I told. See, examples you can say this milk, juice, 
cold drink coffee or tea even the vegetable oil water all these are examples of liquid so in all these you will see that they don't have definite shape but they have constant or definite quality so you take a glass of water if you see this is the shape of the glass of water what you pour in this jar it will come somewhere like this the design will change the shape of water molecule will change if you pour in this glass it will be something like this it will change if you pour in this glass it will come somewhere here the shape will change if you pour in this glass the shape will change if you see in all these glass the shape of water has changed from in this case it was something like this to something like this to this to this to this you see the shape of water molecule a uh, shape of the whole water has uh, has changed okay but if you measure the volume in each of these cases the volume will be constant so liquid is something which has definite volume but the shape is not definite they flow easily it's also called fluid so why it is called fluid then we'll see that both gas and liquid is called fluid because they flow the word has come from flow they flow easily if you take liquid from this and try to pour in this the flow is pretty smooth okay also if you have a liquid here actually you can see that in this liquid we can diffuse solid also we can diffuse liquid and we can diffuse gas so let's see this so diffusion of solid we have seen in the glass of water we can actually dissolve some sugar or salt that is diffusion of solid in liquid diffusion i told two particles intermixing each other and these particles are uh, somehow finding space in the intermolecular uh, space between these particles liquid diffusion also we have seen we put a dye a few drops of dye in this water molecule and the dye spreads or ink that is liquid diffusion gas diffusion is dissolving oxygen and carbon dioxide in water and if you see the whole aquatic system which survives in water is because of this in this water you have oxygen dissolved and this oxygen is the source and this is this is oxygen used by these aquatic plants or animals for their survival okay so solid liquid and gas both can dissolve in the liquid that is the liquid state it has definite volume but no definite shape the next state of matter is gas state see if you must have seen this balloon seller will fill thousands of balloon from a small cylinder it will, the guy will have small cylinder and from that he will fill thousands of balloon but if you compare the volume of thousands of cylinders it will be huge and the volume of cylinder is very small so with that i can say that this gas here the volume is not definite even if you see the incense stick this gas that comes out the shape is also not definite right i mean every second the shape changes somewhere here sometimes it will go here here so the gas will not have definite volume not definite shape example this lpg which we use in our home for cooking this has huge amount of gas compressed huge amount of gas compressed and thus they are highly compressible highly compressible we will see that solid is least compressible liquid little bit limited compression you can have but gases are highly compressible even cng used in the car that is gas okay but something has to be constant right so in this case 
the mass is constant even mass is constant for all solid liquids get the mass is always constant okay in this case of gas the pressure is exerted by gas why because this particles inside this let's suppose the intermolecular space between them is less and they are in constant motion their speed is also more they move at a higher speed and these particles you see they random randomly hit each other and they also hit the walls of this container since they hit the wall of this container they apply pressure on the container here also you see this particles will hit the walls of this container also they will hit each other also because they are in constant motion and the motion is pretty fast right and they will hit the walls of this container and because of this it will apply pressure so when you talk about the gas you talk about pressure generally why because this gas the particles of this gas are actually in constant motion and they apply pressure right since they apply pressure when you talk about the gas you always talk about pressure okay so for example when you heat or when you boil this water you get this water vapors this is also gas water vapors so water the gas will not have definite uh, volume not definite shape but it will have definite mass so let's compare this this is solid solid mass volume shape all constant in this case mass volume shape mass constant volume constant shape not constant in this case mass volume shape mass constant volume constant not constant shape not constant you see in case of solid all mass volume shape is constant in case of liquid mass and volume is constant shape is not constant in case of gas mass is constant but volume and shape is not constant and let's see let's see the particles motion if you see in this case the particles are moving at a very slow speed in the case of liquid the particles are moving at a higher speed in the case of gas the particles are moving at a or very very high speed so if you see here this is solid let me write here this is liquid and this is gas also if you see in case of solid these particles are arranged in more ordered way they are more ordered more ordered but in case of liquids and gas the particles arrangement is little less ordered in case of liquid little more bit ordered but in case of gas all the more less ordered and the speed of the you see the particles are moving in all three that is constant and that is what we are seeing the particles are in constant motion but the speed as we they are moving is different in case of solid the speed is very 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 slow the movement is slow they are held together by a strong force of attraction between the particles and thus the motion is little restricted they move but at a very slow speed case of liquid again they are held together by force of attraction between the particles though so they move but little higher speed because the force of attraction is little less in case of gas the force of attraction between the particles is very very less and we see the speed at which these particles are moving is pretty high right so the force of attraction is pretty high in this case so let me write here so force of attraction very high between particles okay all very low force of attraction between and same thing about the space also right so force of attraction is very high uh, so you can say less space between particles and more space between particles and here speed of particles is slow here high particle speed 
So this is the whole comparison you can see actually. The force of attraction in the particle is pretty high. The space between the particle is less and the speed of particles. So all these things, three things are linked. Liquid is somewhere intermediate, so I didn't write. In case of gas, the force of attraction in the particle is low. So space is more and the speed of particle is also very high. That is how you compare solid, liquid and gas. Okay. The next. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.